Coming up next in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division Collision. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, the Giants. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble. And he landed the right hand there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice punch lands over the top. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, straight right. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. It's not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Don't stop. Come on, don't stop. Oh, God. Huge head kick. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big plus land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Caught that kick there. And they separate. There's no tell on that leg kick. Right. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, so the taller fan. Right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. That is a perfect shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up right. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Now connects with a right. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Just to slip this. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Second round here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Come on. Come on. 
Strong defense there to block the shot. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Block that kick to the body. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Got clip with the right hand. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Good stick. attempt but unable to land. Right punch is there. Like oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Looking to land the right hand he misses. Big kick lands. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, high-level stuff here, speed to catch the kick. Now counters with a takedown. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve and starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big punch lands through the middle. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Real quick leg kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job 
of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. And he... Oh, big knee! Just misses with that big right hand. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he's setting trap as his opponent. Oh, oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. Oh, that was down for a very bad move. Nice punch there. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, inside his opponent's guard here in D.C. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. And he's back up. Switch, and he lands to the body. Nice leg kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Outstanding knee. Oh, oh man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into this. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. you got to get that takedown. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Big body kick land. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent only saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hitting behind the punch that finished the fight for him. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout. Oh, oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. I'm still